Okay, so people keep asking me, what's coming to Global after the Slime Collab? What's coming to Global after the Slime Collab? And I don't know. Like, you guys keep can keep asking me. I don't know. I don't work for them. <laughs> I am not CM Gold. You can ask CM Gold. He probably knows. Which, by the way, CM Gold, please make a Twitter. I want to follow you. Anyways, uh, this green DM. She, when she came out on GP, came out with Askomer. She was in the same banner as Askomer. The thing with Global that they are doing, which is kind of weird, is that they are releasing pretty much every character as a singular banner. The one time, if I recall, that they didn't, uh, except the Slime Collab, right, was uh, Gopher and Gallon, which was a top tier banner, like incredible banner. Um, and then they just been going with this, you know, thing of the, just one character per banner, which I'm not a fan of, but it's what the how they're doing. GP is different, GP always releases characters to per banner, except like on these weird free banners that we have right now, like the Matrona one. But this DM is actually really good, um, and she came out of Ascona, and when they came out, people were saying that she was better than Ascona, which, not true, but, she, like, it's, it's how good she is. So, the reason why is her passive is that in the beginning of the battle, as soon as she starts the battle, she taunts enemies and creates a barrier equal to 300% of defense at the start of the battle. And this blue card that she has, um, taunts, and increases her defense related stats by 80, 120, and 200%. Keep in mind, that's not just defense, it's defense related stats, meaning defense, resistance, crit, de uh, crit defense, and crit resistance. So, it's all the stats. And level 1 is 80%. 80% extra resistance, crit resistance, and crit defense. She's not getting crit on, and she's tanking pretty well. Um, her regular attack card is just a regular attack card. She uh, inflicts severe, which doubles the crit chance, and 160, 240, 400%. I have mine with UR, HP, and defense gear. Um, and I'm taking her on geared PvP. Oh, but yeah, minus 6 LS6 six because uh, actually she's a link for King, so I did 6 6 her. And I'm uh, taking her on geared right now and showing how good she is. And if you should, I don't think you should summon for her necessarily, but if you pull her, she is a worthy unit to give the level uh, whatever cap will be when she comes out on global. When she brings on GP, it was already 80. It has been 80 for a while, by the way. Uh, but who knows if 80 will come out before her? Who knows? Alright, let's see who I'm facing. Ooh, pen. Good thing I'm using Red King in the back. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. So, oh, perfect. Um, he could possibly take off my ultimate gauge. Of course, so with this team I'm doing, the end is gonna be just tanking, right? I go for an ultimate, and then I tank with the end. Um, he can't single target Meliodas, he can't do anything about Meliodas, because he has to attack the end, unless he has a level 2 Cruel Sun, which removes buffs. But he has to attack the end. And even if he had like a green Merlin or anything, he would have to attack the end because of taunt. So there's not really much he can do about it. I'm using Red King in the back, so he's not hitting you as hard. He can't single target. Miliotis, yeah, he has to single target the end with Ascanor. And the match is done. She is really good for Ult Rush, and that's pretty much how most people have been using her nowadays. It's for Ult Rush. And then let me go for her ultimate next turn for the, uh, the the fourth character if he doesn't quit. Fudu Counter! This is pretty much how it goes. You could you could go for... Um, instead of using Meliodas, I could actually just go for like using Blue King. And I think this was my match for Challenger. Yeah, nice. Um, I could have been just using Blue King uh, instead of Meliodas. It would be the same thing. Uh, the only reason why I'm not using it is because I actually want to use Red King in the back. If you don't know, uh, the penetration team is very popular, and Red King in the back is like the best way of countering it. So I have to, I am kind of forced to use it, to use it like right now. If not for the 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 pen team existing, I could easily just switch that Meliodas for the Blue King and put like Askinor in the back or something. More than I like to play in the front because you like you want to use a unit that takes off Alt Cage. It's really good having unit that takes off Alt Cage. So I like using Merlin in the front just for that, and the shields are also pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I didn't make a cut. I just, I just kept talking. Well, ooh, another pen team, but different because we're using Bond. Very low CP, probably because of the the switch between Bond and Ascalon is pretty big. All right, same thing. Um, I know if I put up a shield, I will lose her shield, but I want to get uh, her ultimate. Um, uh, Merlin's ultimate, that is. So, actually, actually, there's nothing he can do about Meliodas. Unless he has a, unless he 
somehow got Lilia's um, level 2 card. There's nothing he could do about Lilia. So I think I'm like, I, I just go for his ultimate. <laughs> Um, there's nothing he can do. Like, legitimately, nothing he can do. That's annoying. Maybe he's gonna hit less hard, but... There's just nothing. There's just nothing. Doesn't even break her... Sh uh, uh, the end shield. And... Poop. Poop, okay. I, I want a match where I actually get to use her shield properly. Um... Through the... So let me cut it right... Oh, he survived. Let me cut it right here, and then when I get a better match, I'll bring it back. Alright, alright, alright. Ooh, pen again. <laughs> uh, be prep. Ooh, he has a lot of CC. Be prepared to see a lot of pen teams on Global, because this, this, is, the, this is the thing you see all the time. Trust me. Mm. Again, I do have Red King in the back, so that's gonna protect me a little bit. Um, he is gonna be able to break... Oh, he didn't go for attacking Heliodis. He's gonna go for breaking the end shoot first, okay. Interesting. So what I'm gonna do, of course, is um, um, I'm gonna get the end's level two shield right here, so she's gonna be tanking a lot, and then I'm gonna put up a shield. Heavy meta. Corrosion is gonna break the shield. Yep. But I, I just I just wanted to uh, not take damage from corrosion, pretty much. I have Red King in the back, so that's protecting me. Leveling up my card. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, he didn't crit. Unlucky. Unlucky for me. Uh, crit now. Nice. 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 <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so, um. You're killing you. You're killing you. And you are killing you. <laughs> uh. Oop. And then, uh, this is why <laughs> facing a pen team with Red King is just so good. Sometimes they just don't know. But, oh, oh, we didn't, I mean, I have HP and defense on her, but... Ah, really good, it's so strong. I do have HP and defense on her, so I guess it makes sense that she didn't die. Um, her attack stat is like only like 9k or something, 9.8k. So I guess it makes sense that um, he didn't kill the, the Lilia, but that was a pretty weak ult. She's a tank, okay? Unlucky, I couldn't really test her um, her tanking capabilities because um, he only did AoE. I mean, you did see how little damage she took from the Ameliodas, which is a super strong unit, right? Let me just take a look at her base, uh, her stats real quick. <laughs> she has 144% resistance. That's nutty. 144% resistance. Alright, let me just clean this with Meliodas real quick. And then, if he survives. I mean, she's not meant to do damage, that's why I don't even care for my, using her card that much. <laughs> she's meant to tank. And she's... Oh, no crits. She's meant to uh, be there, to um, tank all the hits, and not let the, the, uh, you know, the enemies attack the unit. That's supposed to be doing it. Oh, she's so cute. That she is like supposed to be doing the damage and everything, which is my case, mainly others. But when she comes out, it's probably just gonna be Blue King. So, uh, okay. <laughs> hey, same guy. All right, let's let's see how he does this time. <laughs> oh, okay. In in his case now, I did get worse cards, so he's gonna have a better time now. Actually, not much worse. Worse. I can still get uh, DM's ultimate and and uh, Merlin's ultimate as well. So I guess it's not that much worse. Ikimos. Yeah. So because Lilia last time did not die, I'm gonna do this. Boop. And then this and this. I just did that to do a little bit of damage, so she would actually die to the end's ultimate next turn. Ha! Okay. Let's see. Oh, corrosion's gonna hit me now. Mm. Ah, uh, there's no way DM dies, right? Even if he has, like, a, a lot of Ascanor attacks, I don't think the Oh, he's gonna take off Mold Cage. Unless DM can tank it. DM? 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 Ah, unlucky. He did, like, 400 damage. Unlucky. Take off almost nothing from Ascanor. That's good. Alright, so, uh... 
My damage dealer is gonna probably kill Escalar, I'm hoping. Oh yeah, definitely. Could I? Yep, definitely. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. The only reason why the Lost Game really is doing so much damage, by the way, is because there is a rule of extra 70% crit damage. Like, he does a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, but not that much. <laughs> it's not that much. Okay, there's not much he can do about Meliodas. Um, if he has a Petrify card somehow, he can Petrify the end, but he would have to Petrify her before. Oh, yeah. Oh, the end's taking almost no damage. Oh, 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 don't cry, don't cry. Okay. Oh, he didn't have another card. <laughs> he didn't have another card, holy crap. Actually, okay, I, I want to see how much damage her, uh, her level 2 attack card does before. Just because. I just want to see it. 55k. That was with actual 70% crit damage, but still. Fudu counter. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Ooh, Merlin, uh, Eskimer, and King. 218k CC. Holy. Okay, at least he's not using. Uh, I was like, does he have 218 like regularly, or is he using uh, CP food? It, it could be just HP or CP food, because he's not using old food, which is what people usually do. Mm-hmm, shield up, shield up, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. That was a lot of damage. I wish I had a Meliodas card, but I don't. Um, let me just, let me make, let me, um... Uh, yeah, let me, let me take off Merlin's ultimate gauge, because um, she's the closest one. Crit? Nah, I'm lucky. If it was a crit, it would've broke the shield. Oh, it took, it broke the shield anyways, okay. But if it was a crit, it would've more easily break the shield. Hopefully he doesn't have an Escalor, um, level 2, to take off ult gauge. Yeah, he can't take off Merlin's because of, uh, taunt. That's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Plan. Uh, kill King. Take off her ult gauge. It should most definitely kill King. I broke the shield just in case. Just in case. It should kill King. Are you kidding me? Oh, and he can heal. It doesn't seem like he has a level 2 healing card though, so I think I'm fine, but still. Unlucky. Unlucky, I know the end blue card. I, she, she still has some time, it's fine. She still has some time. Mm. He just cleansed the attack seal. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Are you kidding me? He didn't crit Meliodas a single time? <laughs> Are you kidding me? A singular time he didn't crit Meliodas? Okay. Okay, game. Alright. You should kill K. Oh, nice. They melee should kill King. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Huh? 17k if she doesn't crit. Uh, but I mean, she does have double crit chance. Wait, what's her base chance to crit? Um, 30%. So I guess with uh, with the double crit chance, she does have a decent chance to crit. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm. Ooh. Oh yeah, she's dead. <laughs> oh yeah. Mo Never mind. Never mind. Okay, boop. Um, just in case, get her ultimate next turn, so he, she's forced to be like killed and stuff. I don't think Amelioids can kill Askuner, unless he crits. Like I, like I said, unless he crits. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, now that's what he wanted to see. Okay, Lost Vein, Zarges, and King. Don't mind the low CP. I faced a guy the other day that had 180 KCP, and he still almost destroyed me with this scene. Oh, Zeldris. <laughs> you know what, it's fine. Unless he has a Petrify card, I'm fine. I can go for the end's ultimate, no problem. I'll just have to sacrifice using a level 2. If you don't know, Zeldris' commandment is that um, uh, when you move a card, you lose an ult gauge and you don't gain an ult gauge. So... Yeah. Let's see what he does. If he AoEs, bug. Oh, uh, Kremlin, please. 
No crit on Milio is unlucky. Zell just doesn't crit, so. Oh, Zell just doesn't crit. To be fair, she has a lot of. Uh, actually, actually, being very fair, she has a lot of crit resistance right now. How much do you have? Yeah, she has 139 crit resistance. Yeah, if he crit, that would have been a problem. <laughs> like, legitimately. Um. I can't do anything about the. Uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't force Merlin Zoltan because of his uh, commitment. Hope he doesn't. Hope that attack doesn't go for Meliodas. No, he's gonna crit him. He didn't. Oh, I'm so lucky. <laughs> I'm so lucky he didn't crit him. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the, the commandment's really annoying me right now. Because I'm using an Ultraish team and it's a very anti Ultraish thing. No crits, because she has insane core resistance. No crits, yep, yep, and he needs to crit to do damage. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So here's what a normal person would do a normal person would not do this, but I. <laughs> But I am not any normal person. A normal person would go for taking off his ultimate gauge. Because that would be the safe thing to do. But, you know, I'm not really like that. She still has taunt active, so it's not like he can one-shot me. Yeah, if he did that against Meliodas and he crit, he would have one-shot him because of the rule. But taunt, so uh, he had to attack the end. Ah, oh, the end's so good. I remember... Um, James told me that she's making a comeback on GP, and I was like, Pog. And the reason why we know she's making a comeback is because uh, the top players are using her right now on their teams. Oh, Mono Red, okay, okay. The top players are using her on, on their team, and, um... Ah, why can't... Did I even get a single time Meliodas' card? Like, a single time? Mm. The top players are using her in their team. Um... The, the, all of the uh, top players right now are using uh, Lost Meme Liotis, Deanne, and Frogen. And the reason why for Frogen is um, he uh, his passive is that if someone has less CC than him, they can't gain Ult Gauge for 3 turns. So the whales have him like full on HP and defense you are gear, like max, max, max style. And, um, and um, like full costumes max style and everything. So they're like, they, they just whale the. the Super hard on on the Fraugen and are able to do that. If you don't wail super hard on Fraugen, then there's mm -mm, you can't do that. You can't, you just can't do that. Fraugen is the most whale like whaliest unit in the game, just by by far. Because if you don't whale on him, like if you don't like buy like full on costumes and you war gear him, he's garbage. Like he's actual, like the one of the worst units in the game. If you do though, he's like super top tier on PvP. Um, I'm scared. Mm. Mm. Are there AoE? No. She only took that. I mean, that, she almost died, but Escalor's single target with buffs is like actually insane. Uh, Arthur for sure dies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The fact that the end didn't die, it's like, like actually impressive. Crit, 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 no. I mean, Gopher has like pretty high crit resistance. <sighs> one more crit. One, if, she, if he had crit one more time... Oh, that's why he has such low CC, he has death boost. If he had crit one more time in any of those attacks, he would have killed Gopher. And he wouldn't be able to rank up his card right now to take off an ultimate gauge. That's so unlucky. Oh! Oh, he, he just demolished me. Oh, I was not expecting for that. <laughs> I was not expecting for that. Mm. <laughs> Mel, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Not even close. Unlucky. Okay, that's it for me. <laughs> He absolutely demolished me. Oh wow. Wait, if he's 1-6, I might survive. 
Never mind. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Dan's pretty good. Um, when she does come out on global, I think it's worth giving her the uh, the 75 or 80 or whatever it is whenever she comes out. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.